What are Microsoft doing? Have they lost their minds? They've combined chat and channels into one view and called it chat. Is it as bad as we all think, or is it manageable? Are there ways to make it better? Let's take a look in this video. So if you didn't know, Microsoft are planning, or have done in preview, combined chat and channels all into one. So there is no Teams, <laughs> bit of Teams now down the sidebar. There is only chat, which I think is a strange thing to call it rather than conversations or something, uh, which they have used in the past instead of posts. But basically, everything's down one side now. So if we open up what that looks like when you first come into it, it's got a little pop up. Is one that I made earlier. Chats, teams, and channels are all in one list. Drag sections to reorder, expand and collapse sections to help you focus. Next little tooltip is you can create customized sections so you can move chats or channels within a completely bespoke section now rather than keeping them where they are. And last thing is that it says show message previews. Separate chats from teams and channels and you can customize that all in the in the views which we'll, which we'll have a look at. But as you can see, chats now live above and teams and channels live below. If I just click onto my settings in the new section called chats and channels, you can see there, you can either have it combined, which is the new view, or you can go back to how it was before if you click separate. So that might be all you need to know from this video if you don't like it at all. Um, but as default, it doesn't show you previews for your chats and it says I'm team team names for channels. I've not seen that change, to be honest. So if we turn that off, that's what it looks like when you first change over to it. So as I suspected, all of your chats, because you're gonna have lots of chats, because every time you do a meeting that's not in a channel, which is most meetings, it appears as a chat. You can have millions and millions and millions of chats. And then if you want your teams, they're right at the bottom. Now you can actually just click and collapse all that. And as you saw when we first came in, it's actually just helping by showing just the unread ones or just the latest chat that you've got going on. And all the channels still sort of live there, but seem to be collapsed in view. So I'm sure the team name used to be a bit bigger. Uh, the icon used to be bigger and then the channels underneath were a bit more prominent. And if we go back, all I did was change chats and channels so that it would show message previews, I guess just because that's what I'm used to, seeing a bigger, thicker box for a chat. Um, and one setting that I saw as I was doing this, which makes me shudder in horror that people would use this, is hide inactive channels. So that's turned on. That seems like it might be a nice thing to do, but if you followed our guidance and if you need help sorting out Teams and channels and SharePoint and list and planner and just getting rid of the chaos and saving hours per week, then we've got a free training that you can find in the link in the description below, or you can just have a chat, book a call with me directly. We've got a brand new program for small businesses and champions programs, a 12 week live program where you'll go through all the things to get set up and get you motoring. It's done with you Microsoft 365 Accelerator program, and we've got an unbelievable price at the time you watch this because we're just testing it out and we want some people to go through, but the price will go up when we prove it successful and got from the testimonials. So if you're interested in being an early adopter in that, book a call, that's the best way to see if you're a good fit or not. And we've got loads of other ways we can help as well if you need any help. But if you follow any of our guidance or watch any of our other videos, the best thing you can do to save time at work is get your team structure right and get people using channels correctly and if they've taken the time, if you've taken the time to structure it and people are working in that way, in a more modern way of doing everything in Teams, all the files that live in Teams, everything's there in the channel, you might want to get notified about stuff that's going on in the channels that you've shown or not hidden. And whether you've used it or not, if something does go in there and there's a channel mention, you will want to get notified about it. That's all of the stuff we cover in the course, the basics are channel mentions and showing and hiding channels to manage your notifications, then being hidden for you, then will remove those notifications from any hidden channel if someone doesn't mention you specifically, 
they are mentioned in the channel, you're not going to get notified. So hiding inactive channels sounds like a good thing in that you haven't seen it for a bit, so it's going to remove it. But if there is anything in there, you're just going to make it more likely that you're going to lose stuff. And the downside of all of Microsoft 365 is a bit whack-a-mole. There's loads of nuance about what to use when, and people tend to end up losing things. And that's what we help organizations do. Uh, and if you want any more, check out one of the links in the description below. So I would turn that off if I were you. And the chats, as we go back into it, you can see it's only the last one that's sort of showing up, which was a meeting, and then the team still appear down there. But team seems to have taken a bit of a, a hit there that, that is relegated to the bottom. You can drag it around and put it wherever you want. So if you work in teams, you can drag it above, which I would recommend. Chats should be lesser um, if you're working in the way that we suggest. And so you can move them there. You can move stuff up to favorites. So I think even individual channels, you can drag into being a favorite. So that's similar, similar functionality that was there before to pin a channel at the top of your list, um, although it makes it like really, really big. So you could pin different channels at the top of your list. Now, if you follow our guidance, you probably won't have that many teams to keep up with anyway. Um, and so I always think that pinning is, uh, is not as useful as it should be. So if, if you want to get rid of that, it's like remove from section and remove that one there. But you can see we could create a brand new so new message, new channel, and now might be confusing if you don't know the difference between them. New section is like the favorite section. So in Microsoft's view, they're saying, oh, we've created this because you're working across a mix of channels and chats. Now, if you just followed our guidance to be setting yourself up to be simple, you wouldn't have that anyway. But Microsoft are so big that they can't possibly work that way or change everyone in their organization even to work in that way. So now, like say we've got a favorite section, we've now got a project section. So if you had a mix of chats, so um, I don't know, let's use this one. We can drag that into our project, maybe working in a chat and a channel. I mean, that, that just makes me uh, shudder in horror that people would do that because there's nothing else you could do in a chat that you can't do in a channel. So you may as well just work in the channel so you don't lose stuff. If you put stuff in a channel, it's going to live in the SharePoint site when you that's associated with the team. When you set the team up, if you put a file in the chat, it's going to move it into your OneDrive of the person that shared it. And you can end up with permission issues and all sorts of stuff. All the things that Microsoft say, watch out for when you're using Copilot. Um, so, but if you did want to work like that, that is now available, which I would not recommend you do. But actually, the chats and channels all being one isn't quite as bad as I first thought when I heard that Microsoft were gonna, was going to do it. And uh, yeah, you can always go back as well if you go to settings, chats and channels, and just click separate, separate. You can just go back to the view it was before. But assuming that they're going to keep on with this view, let's just embrace embrace the new and uh, try and make it work for us. If you want to know more about basics of Teams, then check out this video next. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get all the latest news and how to's in Microsoft 365 for free from this channel. And if you need more help for your whole organization, then check out one of the links in the description. But thanks for watching so far and see you in the next one.